Kids and teens look at stars as role models. They don't really show people dying or getting sick from smoking. Most of the time, the smokers have a lot of friends or people that follow them. If you see someone smoking in a movie and they make it look cool, you may want to be like them. It's unrealistic. Smoking in films never shows the real effect of smoking. There are more hero smokers on film than villains. Kids are influenced by the things they see around them. There is no rating system for smoking in movies. Even cartoons can smoke. Advertising in movies is meant for teens and kids. Even though you can't smoke until you're 18, G, PG, and PG-13 movies have a lot of smoking in them. In 1970, when advertising tobacco brands was banned, Big Tobacco turned to Hollywood to place their products on screen. Smoking in PG-13 movies went up 50% after Congress told them they couldn't pay to have their brand on screen anymore. 16% of teens who see smoking in the movies are more likely to have a positive attitude about smoking. Smoking in movies accounts for 52% of youth that start smoking. Well, the solution would be to have a rating system for movies so that children who are watching a general uh, PG and PG-13 movies don't have to see smoking. Make sure that kids' movies don't have characters that smoke. Cartoons shouldn't smoke. Don't allow movies to have smoking in it without reason. Put smoking in movies if it is showing how bad it is for you or it is part of actual history. Require anti-smoking ads to run yeah. before and after films with smoking in them. Have the actors in the movie make anti-smoking ads and put them on the credits. Don't allow tobacco companies to put their brands on screen so it's harder for teens to recognize them. Movie studios and producers should include that no one receives payments to use tobacco in this movie in the credits. Put anti-smoking messages on the back in the backgrounds of movie scenes that have characters that smoke, like on billboards and bus stops. Educate parents about on-screen smoking so that they can talk to their kids about it after the movie is over. My name is George Sue. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at San Francisco General Hospital, UC San Francisco. And I absolutely agree that uh, smoking should be included in the movie rating system. And the reason is because uh, it's very well known that the younger you start smoking, the harder it is to quit. Teen smokers become adult smokers. Educate people around you about what's going on with tobacco in Hollywood. Encourage people to join the movement to include tobacco in the movie rating system. Write to local media like newspapers to bring light to the issue. Ask local councils to adopt smoke-free movie resolutions. Write to movie studios and tell them your concerns. Survey moviegoers after they watch the movie to see if they noticed any smoking in that movie. Write to actors and actresses expressing your concerns about being a role model and smoking on screens. Keep an up-to-date list of current movies with smoking scenes in them, posted in a public area, schoolyard, or ask your local newspaper to publish a list. Support local groups that are already campaigning to stop smoking in films. One way to take action would be to organize a group like I am, and I received a tobacco grant this year, and the goal of the grant is to uh, educate adults and young students about smoking in film. So I've gathered a bunch of students together, we educated them on uh, the effects of tobacco, and then we also talked about smoking in films. Where does it occur? When does it occur? Who's doing it? And really educating them around the issue. And from there, we're going to take this group of students and create a documentary about smoking in films, and then taking that uh, to our local uh, congressmen, and uh, letting them know that we're aware of this problem and hopefully they can help us uh, take action by getting a rating system in films, uh, putting an R rating in films that have smoking and, and indicating in the rating that smoking does occur in this film. 
It is possible to make changes in Hollywood.